Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on flow through pipes. In this video, we are going to find out what is the increase in discharge for a pipe when the parallel pipe is connected to a single pipe. So first, I will read what is the given problem. A pipeline of 0.6 meter diameter is 1.5 kilometer long. To increase the discharge, another line of the same diameter is introduced parallel to the first in the second half of the length. Neglecting minor losses, find the increase in discharge if 4F is equal to 0.04. The head at inlet is 300 mm. So this was the given question. Let us first understand the diagram as per given data. Now here the head at inlet is given. So we have to show the head at inlet of the pipe. So point A is at the inlet of the pipe. So from the center of pipe, what is the distance of this water surface? That is 300 millimeter. So we have to convert it into meter that is 0.3 meter and this is given. Now the total length of pipe is also given. So we can say that this is the total length of pipe. L is equal to 1500 meter and diameter is 0.6 meter. So for a single pipe we can say that diameter is capital D which is equal to 0.6 meter. Now here we have to find out what is the increase in discharge Q when parallel pipe is connected. So to calculate the increase in discharge we have to first calculate what is the discharge Q in a single pipe. So here point C is the point at the end of the pipe or outlet of the point. So here in a single pipe we have to first find out what is the discharge in pipe A to C. And then again we have to find out what is the discharge when the parallel pipe is connected. So here it is give, condition is given that for the second half portion that is 1500 divided by 2. That is for the length 750 meter the parallel pipe is connected. So here we have to show that. So here what is the length of this parallel pipe that is equal to 750 meter. So for this 750 meter portion this is the parallel pipe is attached which is having diameter as the same diameter that is 0.6 meter. So if we observe this diagram here the total discharge Q in this single pipe is divided into two parts because this pipe is getting branched into two parts. So here this is the discharge Q1 for the first branch and here is the discharge Q2 for the second branch. Now here condition is given that the diameter will remain same that is this is the diameter for this portion A to B that is the first half portion is A to B and the second half portion is B to C. So again for this portion B to C discharge is Q1 and the for the parallel pipe that is B to T again discharge is Q2 and diameter is same that is D1 is equal to D2 is equal to 0.6 meter. So here is the diagram that we have to draw and this diagram is important for the solution. Now if we observe here we will first calculate what is the discharge through a single pipe. Now for this single pipe what is the diameter D that is 0.6 meter. Then what is the length L 1500 meter. So this as per this data we have to calculate the discharge Q. So we know that what is the discharge Q that is Q is equal to area into velocity. So area from the diameter we can calculate area but what about velocity. So this velocity is not given so we have to find out. But here it is given that what is the in head at the inlet of the pipe that is 0.3 meter and what is the head at the outlet of the pipe. So this outlet of pipe that is the point C is open to atmosphere. So head at the outlet of the pipe is 0. So what is the head lost? 
so when the water is flowing from this point a to point c the total head lost is equal to 0.3 minus 0 that is equal to 0.3 meter so now here we have to neglect the minor losses so we have to consider only major losses and major losses are the losses due to friction so when the water is flowing from this point a to c there is the frictional losses so we have to consider that. So what is the formula of the head loss due to friction when the water is flowing from this point A to C. So we have formula. So we have to use the formula for the single pipe from A to C. So I will write here formula. HF is equal to 4F LV square by 2GD. Now what is this HF that is head lost? 0 0.3 minus 0 that is 0 0.3. So we have to take here 0 0.3 is equal to. Now 4F value of 4F is given in question that is 0 0.04 into L. So what is the length? 1500 into V square. Now V is unknown so we will keep it as it is by 2GD. 2 into 9.81 and diameter is 0 0.6. So, when we calculate this, so on the left hand side it is 0 0.3, so only one unknown term is V. So, V is when we calculate, we will get V is equal to 0 0.2426 meter per second. Now, area that is known and velocity that is also known. So, what is the discharge? So, Q is equal to 0 0.0685 meter cube per second. So, this is our initial discharge. So, when... This pipe is getting connected or parallel pipe is getting connected then what is the discharge. So again we will move for the second case that is when the parallel pipe is connected then we have to find out what is the discharge in the pipe. So if we observe here or if we observe this diagram then for these two parallel pipes the length is same that is L1 is equal to L2 is equal to 750 meter. And then diameters are also same. That is D1 is equal to D2 is equal to 0 0.6 meter. So we can say that the discharge Q1 and Q2 are same from these two pipes. So we can say from this diameter Q1 is equal to Q2 and Q is equal to Q1 plus Q2. So we can say that Q1 is equal to Q2 is equal to Q by 2 because this total discharge Q is divided into two equal parts. So Q1 is equal to Q by 2, Q2 is equal to Q by 2. So we have to write it. So Q1 is equal to Q2 is equal to Q by 2. Now if we observe head loss through this pipe A, B, C. Now we will take this first portion that is the head loss due to here in this pipe A, B, C is equal to head loss in pipe A, B plus head loss in pipe B, C. So instead of B, C we can take B, D because B, C and B, D are same. Whose lengths are also same as well as diameters are also same. So we can say that uh, head loss in A, B and plus head loss in B, C. Now what is the head loss in pipe A, B, C? So we have already know it is given that. So we have calculated here head loss that is equal to 0 0.3 meter. So we can easily say that A, B, C, in pipe A, B, C head loss is 0 0.3 meter. Now in the same way we will calculate the head loss in position A, B. So we have to observe diagram and with the help of diagram only we can put here the value. So what is the formula for the head loss? So we have to consider only frictional losses. That is head loss in AB is equal to 4F. Now what is the length of AB? Now if we observe here this is the length of AB. That is this is total length L minus this length L1. L minus L1. So we have to take 4F L minus L1 V square by 2GD. Now we will put here the values. Now again V is unknown. So what is the velocity V in position AB? So again we have to find out. So what is the velocity? That is we can say that V is equal to Q by A. So again we have to take here Q. That is the discharge Q in this position AB divided by area of this pipe. So for this area diameter is 0 0.6. So we can easily say that pi by 4 0 0.6 square. 
so we have to put the value of v is equal to q divided by pi by 4 into 0 0.6 square so we have to put the value here so for if the value is given 0 0.04 multiplied by l by l l minus l1 that is 1500 minus 750 that is 750 into v square v is equal to q that is we have to take this 4 in the numerator so 4 q divided by pi into 0 0.36 bracket square so remember here we have to take here square for the value of v divided by 2 gd so 2 into 9.81 into d small d is 0 0.6 so when we calculate this we will get or we, when we simplify this we will get 31.87 q square now again we will find out what is the head loss in the portion b to c so with the help of this diagram we will write the formula so head loss is equal to we know that 4f now here length is l1 v1 square by 2g d1 so diameter is d1 so if we observe here now velocity is v1 is also unknown so we will first find out what is the value of this velocity so we know that velocity is equal to q by a but here for this position b to c q that is discharge is q1 so we have to write q1 by a so if i write here v1 is equal to q1 by a then what is this area a so again we will observe here diagram diameter d1 is 0 0.6 meter so pi by 4 into 0 0.6 square so we have to write this now here is q1 so how to write this value in terms of q so we know that here we have written q1 is equal to q2 is equal to q by 2 so instead of q1 i will write here q by 2 so I will write here q divided by 2. So here is q and here is 2. And this 4 I will take in the numerator. So 4 q by 2 pi into 0 0.6 square that is 0 0.36. So we have to take this value for this v1. So again we will put here the value that is for 4 a 0 0.04 l1 750 v1 that is 4 q by 2 pi into 0 0.36 bracket square divided by 2 into 9.81 into 0 0.36. So here 0 0.6. So diameter d1 is 0 0.6. So we have to write here. So when we simplify this we will get answer that is 7.969 q square. So now if we observe here is the head lost in BC and here is the head lost in AB. So we have one equation that is the head loss in ABC is equal to head loss in AB and head loss in BC. So we will put here all the values. So what is the head loss in ABC? So that is equal to 0 0.3 meter. So we have to take 0 0.3 is equal to 31.87 q square plus 7.969 q square. So from this we can easily calculate the value of q. So this is the q is equal to 0 0.0867 meter cube per second. So this is the final value. So final value that means the value after connecting the parallel pipe. And what was the initial value that we have calculated in the first case. So how to calculate the increase in discharge. So increase in discharge that means this final q minus initial q. So when we take the difference then we will get the answer 0 0.0182 meter cube per second and this is the answer.